I grew up playing the trumpet uh, in a jazz band, and one of the things that that has taught me and has helped me to do is be uh, more collaborative uh, and learn the timing and tempo of, of teamwork and being able to jump in and jump out when I need to. I love to challenge rules. What I do, and it started when I was little, is I challenged our township to let me, a girl, play basketball in an all men's league. And then in college, I actually went after a full-time scholarship at a time in history when that was just not something that you did. I think probably what makes me different is that for a number of years I worked for, on the customer side, I worked for a, a number of law firms, and actually I jumped over to work for Thomson Reuters because I wanted to have an impact with a wider group of customers than just the law firm I was working for at the time. I'm different because I used to play rugby semi-professionally. Uh, we won the Premiership in Hong Kong with a team of eight different nationalities. It was a great experience being part of a high-performing team with so many different cultures involved. So I grew up in a family of girls. My sister, all of my cousins except one were girls, and then as they had children, I was the youngest. Um, they were all girls, and so I just was surrounded by women and never really entered my mind that there was any difference between girls and boys because we were all treated the same. When I started working, though, I entered into quite male-oriented uh, profession. So I started studying engineering and then I, I worked as an engineer for a, a year or two and then I started consulting, all very male dominated. But because of that upbringing, it, it was never in my mind that there was really any gender difference. My career journey here at TR has been particularly unique because I've taken the less traveled road from developer to CTO with many stops along the way. This journey has really taught me resilience and reinvention. I grew up in Australia, fairly typical upbringing. Uh, but about 25 years ago, moved to Singapore for work and I fell in love with a Singaporean school teacher, Jalita. She's uh, from an Indonesian, Malay, Chinese background. She's a Muslim um, and we got married and we've had kids. So we have a real melting pot of a family. And the, way, the reason that's really helped me is it opens me up to a range of different cultures, different perspectives. I started my career as a teacher and a coach. And what is really interesting is that was a public school setting. Now I'm in a business setting, I'm still doing the same thing. And I love the people part of our business. And I think that's the most important part. I've lived or had significant work experiences in four countries and I've traveled in over 20 others so far. From this, I've learned it's best not to form a first impression after only seven seconds. The payback is so huge if you invest just a bit more time.